I'm sure we're all too familiar with the countless acts of racism in the world. Much of what's been in the media have been examples of anti-black racism. Just Sunday we saw another act of police brutality against an unarmed black man. Now before I dive into the details of the story, I just have to put it out there. I'm a mixed race woman of color, I grew up in a white neighborhood and half my family is white so I'm not going to stand here and claim like I know everything about racism since I haven't personally experienced discrimination. But since I've been privileged enough to be given this platform, I'm going to do my best to educate you guys about the racism going on in our world and how we can end racism and violence against, well, everyone. What's going on guys, I'm your host Bree Room and welcome back to IO. Today we're discussing yet another instance of racism in America, this time coming out of Kenosha, Wisconsin. Last Sunday, America watched as another unarmed black man became the victim of police brutality. His name is Jacob Blake and somehow, miraculously, he survived being tased and shot seven times in the back by officers. The whole thing was caught on camera and it's so chilling to watch. In the video, you see Blake walking back to his car after trying to break up an altercation between two women on the side of the road. The officers follow Blake back to his car where they then proceed to shoot him seven times in the back while he tries to enter his car. His car, by the way, had his three children inside at the time of the shooting, so these kids literally watched their father be gunned down by officers and slump over the steering wheel. Imagine the trauma these kids went through witnessing this. They will remember this for the rest of their lives and they may even live in fear of the police like many black kids do. Miraculously, after being airlifted to a nearby hospital, he has survived his injuries and is now recovering although he has been paralyzed. There is a GoFundMe page actively accepting donations to help Jacob and his family and it has actually raised over $700,000. I encourage you guys to check it out because he and his family could really use the help right now. There is still so much about the situation that is yet to be uncovered. And the video only shows so much of what happened that day but people are still left wondering what happened before the video started, why police tased Jacob before shooting him, and why the officers fired the shots in general. Many people keeping up with the Black Lives Matter movement are demanding answers and accountability from the officers. There seems to still be an ongoing investigation into what happened as Jacob continues to recover in hospital. Luckily, Jacob's story didn't end in tragedy, but it has for so many victims of police brutality. If this altercation with the officers was not caught on camera, we may never have known about it and awareness would not have been raised. So many other victims haven't been so lucky, so I urge you to be vigilant and stand up for people when they're in trouble. Don't stay silent, speak up and help each other out. In the face of adversity, we cannot falter. We have to stay strong and fight for our rights to just live in peace. We have to keep people accountable for their actions no matter what. I'm so glad this man survived and that he may still have a chance to tell his story. He will be able to personally recount the horrific incidents that so many victims have not had the opportunity to do. I mean, to survive seven gunshots, you have to be a very strong person. I'm glad his kids have someone strong like that to look up to. Alright guys, I'm going to leave it here for now. We're all sending well wishes to Jacob and his family as they try to navigate through this difficult time. I know that we're all rooting for you Jacob and we're here to support you. Subscribe to IO for news and information and I'll see you guys later.